Welcome back to Raising the Bar. This is episode 25, A Quarter Century, and we're going to continue our exploration of the city of Freehaven today. We'll pick straight back up from where we left off. Okay, where were we? Hello. Uh, we already went in there, we already went in there. What is that place there? Greetings. This person will pay us 10 gold each for harpy feathers. Ah, so this is this person tells us that the oracle is actually here in Free Haven. Yeah, I don't know at what point we decided that we needed to consult the oracle, but apparently we do. Um, oh. I guess maybe our characters just know that the oracle is a good place to start there. Oh, it seems that um, this person, this bard here, tells us that in the sewers that we've seen a few entrances to, it may be the haunt of the Freehaven Thieves Guild. She also tells us that she has misgivings about the uh, effectiveness of the council, and they seem to uh, have stalled some uh, important decisions, including the investigation of Roland's death. How are you? Identification mastery. We actually don't need that anymore because we're carrying around someone who gives us that. Hello. This person will pay us 500 gold for unusual teeth. That's not creepy at all. A barrel of purple liquid will give us a buff to something. But what? Let's see. Purple liquid is... no, that's potions. Uh, purple, purple, purple. Um, now those are... No, okay, so those are... no, no, no. There we go. Okay, so purple liquid grants speed. Who needs um, a little tiny boost of speed? It looks as though it's going to be our druid that partakes in the speed buff today. And there's a barrel of white liquid as well. White liquid grants luck. So... Uh, look, 7, 15, 15, 16, it's definitely our paladin is going to drink that one. Okay, so we walked along that street there, so we just need to... Okay, we have another um, group of buildings here, there's a building there we need to go to, and then whatever's off the edge of the map here. This place is huge. Greetings. Nick Fenster here, well... Pay 300 gold for a keg of wine that we can get from uh, a win at the circus, apparently. Hello. What can I do for you? The bank there we have never used, but it will um, allow us. Um, a means to deposit money in a way that will not disappear if we die. Okay, Freehaven Academy here. None of our characters are ready to train, but uh, at least we found the training hall. That's useful. What will this fountain do to us? Ah, okay, restoring hit points. That's a useful thing to know. If only we could, we could find a magic fountain as well on top of that. What do we have here? Nothing. Oh, Carlo Tormini. Okay, so this... There we go. So, he's just going to give us the quest to find um, his good friend Cheryl in uh, the Temple of Sansa on uh, in Bootleg Bay. Apparently he hasn't seen that she's actually with us, and there we go, 1,500 gold for doing that good deed in about 15 seconds. We're already a member of um, Duelist's Edge. The Circus. Okay, the Circus. Um, 
sets up a few days south of Castle Temper on the west side of the Crescent River. They stay there during August. Now, when is it now? It's July. Okay, so it may be that we can catch up with the circus close to here next month. Finally find Prince Nikolai and then finally get somewhere with... Uh, with um, handing in uh, the quest to the guy in Castle Ironfest. Let's buy an empty potion bottle. Can never have too many of those. And there's a plus five cloak there that may be an upgrade for someone. Let's take a look at the cloaks. There's a plus one with plus uh, five might and endurance. Plus three. That's just a regular plus five. Yeah, okay, so it is an upgrade for Marissa there. So let's... Swap out that cloak for a pretty green one, and we can sell some junk. Uh, oh yeah, we were going to sell that as well, weren't we? I'm not sure we're getting good sale prices here at all. For example, a ring f worth a hundred, I'm getting twelve. That's that's dismal. If we can find a trainer that will give us merchant because none of our characters currently have it, then we can do... I think we'll be able to channel all our buying and selling through that character. Hey, good to see you. Okay, uh, Expert in Disarm Trap for 500 gold. I think that is a worthwhile use of 500 okay. gold, for certain, because if we look at that skill... We uh, have just doubled its effect for only 500 gold. That was a no-brainer. Let's head out here and uh, take a look at the lighthouse. How are you? No, nothing there that we can really use. We're on the top, uh, the, the north, I should say, edge of town right now. Ah, we have an upstairs. What's Lost. there? Ah, okay. That is the Smuggler's Guild, but they're not open just yet. We'll have to come back there. Let's give a try to the well. Oh, plus two might permanent. Really? Is that repeatable? So that just buffed our, um, our druid up to ten might. We have 25, 10, 12, 3. Let's see, is that repeatable? Yeah. I guess this is going to buff us either to a to a limit or a, a a usage limit or a cap. So it seems to well we seem to have hit the cap anyway. But we just got some might out there that we uh, wouldn't have ordinarily got. That's maybe we should have used it on a character that actually uses might. What do you need? Okay, we can train uh, characters in mace there, but I don't really we don't really use a lot of melee. I don't think it's worthwhile. I don't think we would use uh, mace anyway, for that matter. Okay, has, here's our uh, melee weapon uh, person. There's just a load of uh, junk there. We don't need any specials. A great sword, two-handed sword. 45 plus two. Uh, what is our paladin currently wielding? Uh, Single-handed. Uh, Sword and shield. I said we weren't going to use. Sh uh, we didn't weren't using any shields earlier, but it seems I was um, pretty uh, ridiculously wrong in that regard. Because if I just looked at the character portrait while I was saying it, it seems we certainly are using shields. Don't touch the, the foundry. So this is more armor. Let's see what we have here. Any good upgrades? Ah, well we have. Um, Large suits of plate. They are maybe a little expensive. Um, yeah, let's. We're not gonna. We're not gonna spend our, uh, our hard-earned money on armor. I don't think. But it's a useful place to know exists. Oh, a second stable with a second pair of horseshoes here. Greetings. So. Ah, it looks as though this will take us to different places than the stable on the south side. Interesting. 
Now I'm completely turned around now. Let's make sure that we've gone in all of the buildings up on this side of town and then we'll Please double back and see where else we need to go. Okay, Guild of Mind. Do any of our characters y use mind skills? Um, apparently, they do not. But let's take a look in the guild and see what sort of things are available in this school of magic. We have charm to, um, well, do what charm skill uh, spells do in games. Mind blast, remove fear, meditation. Temporarily increases a single character's intellect and personality statistics by 10 points plus 2 points per point of skill in mind, mind magic. So that could be a useful party-wide buff if we can get it up to master, but since all of our characters here are starting from no mind magic at all, I suspect that's going to be a, a costly thing to get to that point. Okay, I really am a little bit turned around now. I think we've been all around everything on this side and everything down here. I don't think we've... I think this, this road that heads off to the south from where we are and the road that heads off to the north from where we are, and the road that heads off to the west, I don't think we've been in any of those buildings. So let's... Right, so we, we've been here, but we haven't been in these places on the side. Let's see. How are you? Hi there. The village of Rockham. Hmm. So that is a village on the outskirts of town. Maybe we see that today. Hi there. Hi there. Not a lot of useful stuff. Oh, the former king of the dwarves is hiding out at some local tavern, drowning his sorrows after being opposed by Snurgle. Um, that sounds like a, a quest to me. Uh, that place is closed. Oh, we just hit 4 p.m. It looks as though we may have 5.42 p.m. Okay, we have that uh, guild to go back to once it hits 6 p.m. We can try that. Uh, we've been in there. We Have we been here? No. In the center of Dragon Sand, you can find a pyramid marking the tomb of the ship, or so they say. Huh. A very dangerous place. Okay, we do not have the the, the need uh, the um, we do not have the prerequisite skill to uh, train up as a master plate armor person. Maybe we should do that. Our, our paladin, our paladin has a, a lot of un unallocated skill points. Oh, we can all train up. Uh, we let's do that in a moment because then we're going to have even more. Um, see, our paladin is mostly going to be wearing plate from now on, but only has one point in plate. So let's. Do that, and then How are you? do that yes. to make sure that he is getting as much as he can of, in terms of protection from the plate armor that he is wearing. Closed. Ah, that's just closed. Okay, so uh, we're just going to take a look in here, oh, no. now they're open. Oh, we're not a member. Okay, there's still another guild we need to find a membership for. Hmm. Okay, so we got this far, I think. Greetings. Um, Pleased have to we meet you. been here? No, oh yeah, we were, no, we were at this junction. We haven't been to the places on the side here. Let's see. Greetings. So the oracle, as it says here, is... Uh, we find out a little more, and really, it's someone wise. By the sound, someone or something wise. Which I think we could have guessed from the name. Guild of Spirit. Let's see what... Oh, that's closed too. Okay. Maybe we need to go back to an inn. And... Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the inn. Rest up. Things will be open again. Um, if I can find my way back to the inn. There was one there. Yes. 
Enjoy your stay. And then I've got to find my way back where we were. Which is easier said than done. Okay, so this place, that was closed. And they are still closed, in fact. But we can wait two more hours and they will be open. Um, just various magic items here, by the looks of it. Um, belts and amulets of fire resistance that cost a lot of money. In terms of special items, we got a, some armoured boots there, some amulets of... Wow, 51,000 gold to buy that. And only because it has a an enchantment on it that is that just makes it its value higher. This is quite nice. 15 luck and regenerate spell points over time. Huh. 5,850 gold. I'm going to pick that up for one of our characters. Let's see. So, one of our characters already has... Um, does anyone have? Did we? We didn't buy the thing that was uh, that was that was regen, did we? I don't think we did. I don't think our, our characters actually, any of our characters actually do regenerate um, spell points. But the obvious candidate to get that Looking would be our sorceress. So let's give her that. I don't know how fast they will regenerate. Maybe that will be um, a really bad idea. But, well, we'll find out. Okay, Guild of Spirit. Let's see what sort of things they find uh, that the, the School of Spirit Magic can offer to us. Well, Bless we already use. Turn Undead. Lucky Day. Hmm. I think we already have that. Remove Curse is quite useful. Oh, Resurrections. Ah. That could be highly useful. And it's not that expensive. So let's just look at our Spirit Magician. Um, spirit Arrow, Bless, Healing Touch, and Lucky Day is what he can currently cast. I don't think we care about Turn Undead, just for now, because... All the undead we've seen have not provided a whole lot of uh, resistance. But we also haven't been in a place where we really need to regenerate. Remove curse could be very useful. Shared life redistributes the health of our party. Interesting. That's 9,000, which is about two-thirds of our gold. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... That is useful, but I think I'm going to get Remove Curse, because that could be extremely... Uh, well, it could, it could really bail us out of okay. a hole at some point. And definitely there are some more... Uh, there are some, some, some rather intriguing uh, other spells there, but we are trying to conserve what we have, so... Ah! Air magic expertise here for our druid. Okay. For a thousand. Without a doubt, that is worthwhile. Um, or it would be if our um, druid actually ever used air magic. Ah, still. Nice to see you. Yeah, can't believe I just nice did that. Of course, our air magician is the sorceress. We have a quest here. We need the remains of an undead creature, preferably a powerful one. In fact, uh, the remains of the first Leash, Eth uh, Leash Ethric the Mad. I'm sorry if I say Leash. I know it's Lich. I know everyone says it Lich. I It's a bad habit that I picked up from someone I lived with in university who insisted that it was pronounced Leash, and I have never been able to shake that habit. No, it's Lich, as in the town of Lichfield in England, which is named by the same etymological root. So this person is sending us off to find the remains of the first Lich, and with no particular indication as to where we should go for that. 
and the temple, which has apparently seen better days. So there's no, it seems, possibility here of running back to the temple for a quick um, heal and condition remove. The temple has been destroyed and we are not going to find we're not going to find that sort of uh, usefulness. Hi there. Okay, uh, fire magic expertise for our sorceress. This is going to be useful because we use quite a bit of fire magic. Yes. And we can see in our spells what effect that has on each of our spells. Flame Arrow we can cast cheaper and it recovers faster, which we never use. Firebolt, which we also never use, faster recovery rate. A Fireball has a faster recovery rate and Ring of Fire, which we never use, has a larger radius. Okay, uh, someone is attacking us. This archer here. Well, how rude. I'm going to attack her with a faster recovery rate Fireball. Well, I'm not sure what we uh, what we did to her, but it looks as though this little outlying village might be Rockham. Let's take a look. Hello. Okay, there's a master bodybuilder for when we reach level I think seven in bodybuilding on a character. This person will buy load stones for five gold each, which doesn't sound like it would be even remotely worth our time. Just casting a wizard eye there. How are you? This person will buy bones, uh, of which we happen to have quite a few. Now I think selling, I think picking up these bones was a bad idea because I think it's reflected badly on our reputation and if I can find that we are currently doing okay we have a reputation of 299 respectable which probably would have been higher Hello. but we could do with getting rid of these bones they will be 1000 they're worth 1000 gold each and also, they get get rid of them out of our inventory. But now, yes, it's definitely dropped our reputation a little bit. I'm going to sell as many bones as we can and keep our reputation in the positive. 149, it drops it by about 50 each time, it seems. 49. Yeah, let's leave it there. So we got a bit of gold out of that, but it really didn't do as much good. I think there are probably ways that we can... Um, I see red dots on the radar. I think there are probably ways that we can um, we can do good deeds and, and build that back up, but currently it's not looking really good. Um, so let's hold on to the rest of the bones. We don't want to send ourselves down into the red because then people won't talk to us at all. Uh, this person, Rene Blackburn, will buy golden pyramids um, from uh, available from Abdul's Desert Resort, apparently, for a thousand gold apiece. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to run from those archers because I don't want to get drawn into a combat. Hey, good to see you. And in the inn here. Uh, oh, we actually do need to fill our packs. We have no food, which means we can't rest in the wilderness as it stands. Uh, we definitely need to be able to do that. Bon okay, Chadwick Blackpool. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is the esteemed figure who will give us a nomination for Cavalier. So if we now go back to Osric Temper, we may have just seen to that promotion quest. And it looks as though we have just found the outskirts of the town anyway, because that's the edge of the map. 
So if we just wind our way back through town and out to the castle and see if we can get a promotion quest out of this, this would be a really good way to wrap up the episode. If that is all that that takes, then I am I think that's probably the easiest promotion quest in the game. We didn't have to go into a dungeon, we didn't even have to leave the map and find another one. Okay, just avoiding the crossfire here. This overworld here, and we can head towards Osric Temper, and let's see, Cavaliers. There we go. It's done. So, our four characters, none of them are actually knights, but they've all just been promoted to Cavalier. And the next promotion quest is, is now unlocked to us, which is to defeat the Warlord in Icewind Pass and bring back proof of our victory. So that's probably not something that we're going to get to uh, just yet. But, um, yeah, we just got a promotion quest. I wasn't expecting that this time. And we're all ready to train up again. In fact, we're ready to train up to 19, which is two more levels. So, lastly, let's head back into town and train up. I noticed that we do have some gold left over. We didn't spend it all in town, so it may be some of those things that we decided not to buy that we uh, that uh, we uh, we should actually do. But I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Also, in the next episode, uh, I'm going to clear as much of the overworld as I can, and we'll go and see what is outside the town of Freehaven on the rest of this map. But if we just train okay. up, okay. Okay. there we go. Look at that, nice. So all four of our characters now level 19. And that was the city of Freehaven. Quite a useful and lucrative place to have explored today. I can't even summarize the amount of spells and equipment and uh, expert skill uh, promotions that we've just done here. But this will be a good base for us for the next few episodes as we complete more quests and keep coming back here to rearm and buy new spells and dramatically increase our combat capabilities. Freehaven is really almost the start of the game proper. Well, it remains for me to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time for another Let's Play Might and Magic 6.